Hey guys, welcome to our Saturday night fake thrift haul for the uh, second week in a row because thrift stores are closed. They are closed, but you know, we have such amazing friends and people in our area that are just bringing stuff. Like the back porch randomly has things every day. We're like, oh, who's that from? Some people we know who are dropping things off, some we don't. Most of it's been sitting out there for over a week now, I so I think we're good. I know everybody, actually, who's dropped it off. You don't know, but they messaged me. I know what's coming. I'm out. glad they messaged you, because I'm like, oh, look, new stuff. <laughs> today's haul is from Marlene and Diane and... Well, I was here when Diane dropped off. Hold on. Oh, goodness, I can't remember where Sue? the... No, not Sue. A couple Sue. of these things are from Sue. I think this is from she Sue. She has blonde hair, and she did curbside pickup. Oh, I can't remember if that was you. Comment below. That's where the mannequin came from. But anyways, thank you guys. If you are new to our channel, make sure you give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. We take junk and sell it at our store, which used to be like a brick and mortar situation. And now we've moved online to jamierayvintagehome.com. So if you guys uh, give us a heart, if you guys watched our stay at home shopping network on Thursday, that was our first time ever. It was so much fun. All right, let's see if we've got any questions. Everybody saying hello. All right, so because we don't have pricing on a lot of these because it's stuff that people have brought by, what we're going to do is I'll tell you what I thought we would pay for it, and Jamie will tell you what we would potentially sell it for after it's fixed up and cleaned up and ready to go. Jean Marie is on. You know what? It was Jill is who the bench came from. Oh, oh. we're getting lots of hearts. Look at all those hearts. Look at all those hearts. All right. Sweet. Some so, of them fancy JRV hearts. S A H S N. Stay at home. Home shopping network was awesome. Thank you guys. Um, Jean, who was it? Remember, she came with her husband. You were here, and we did curbside pickup. It wasn't Jill. Maybe Jean will remember. Oh well. All right. Moving on. We are going to get started. So, what do you? What is that? Is it like a jewelry holder? This is a jewelry holder. I'm assuming for necklaces. It has these little hooks on here. I probably would have paid up to $2 for this. Probably would hope to score it in the dollar range. Yeah, it is awesome. At our shop, it'll sell for about $12.95. We'll give it a fun new paint job. I love that it's got like the turned wood. Yeah. I feel like this gives me an idea for what we could do with like a candlestick and some different things. Um, you could even actually take this top if you want to take this apart and do a bunch of different um, things with it. I'm gonna leave it as is. It was Missy. It was, thank you, Jean. So in case you guys don't know, Jean Marie, who's on here, is the brains behind the shop. She's also the mom, even though we're the same age, because she makes sure that everybody has ate their food, washed their hands, and she brings all the things that we need at the shop. And apparently she's also my brain, because she remembered it was missing. Jill is a good scout. She comes Jill. prepared. Jill, you mean er, Jean? Jean, look what you've done to me. <laughs> All these J names. All right, I'm going to go back with the thrift haul because apparently I messed up. Gene, you're not that much older than me. All right. Okay, so this is a fun box. I'm going to... It's, it's, I don't know what would have come in it. It's too big to have been one of those wine. fun wine boxes. I feel it's too big and it doesn't have branding on it. Um, Vodka? No. <laughs> I, it's, it's, an Crown over, Royale. it's an oversized <laughs> tissue holder without a, without a slot for the tissues. I don't know what it is, but I actually was thinking, remember last week we had those cool toppers? If we have time tonight, we should drill a hole and put one of those toppers on here, and then we have oh, a box with a topper. We can do that on the you video. You still have two for quarters. That's going to be like a waste not Saturday situation. Hey, you better not waste those Saturdays. Waste All not right. Wednesday on a Saturday. Delissa said, I received my paints and supplies in. Thanks, Ivy. So we have four people that ship for JRV right now. We have Ivy. Brinley, Lauren, and Jean's daughter, Camry, all shipping for JRV. Camry and Lauren also ship for the home decor, and Jean and I ship. And then um, today I had Alex helping me. It's like all hands on deck, six feet apart. We, we ship in shifts. Ship in shifts. That, did I say that right? I forgot to say how much we paid for this. I, I would pay like two bucks. How much would yeah, you Yeah, two bucks. That's what I was going to say. And I would probably sell it for about... With a top 20, with that topper on with it? With a topper, yeah. that's going to be awesome. Because then that's extra work and we'll probably paint this too. Jen said she got her French tip brushes and Jen, you got that wax that I slipped in. Last minute she got a hold of Caitlin. I happened to be at the shop and the box was already packed so we cut it open and slipped it in. Is this, this is one of the things Diane dropped off, I believe. It looks kind of like a bowling pin, I think, but it's a 
base, but it's a single stem base. There's not a lot of room on the top. It's perfect for like IOD molds or transfers. Yeah, and you could even do like a tapered candle, I think, in the top of that if you were feeling oh, creative. Delissa said thanks and everyone. She didn't want to leave anybody out. They're good. My shippers are chill. I just want you guys to know that there is like all hands on decks at the right house shipping. It's been crazy town. We've had a lot of fun. So I would probably would have been in the $2 range on this, maybe up to three I'd just say, because I of the size. Three. Yeah, and that it's wood. I would even yeah. say four. It's solid the whole and, way through. There's it's, just a hole about as big around as my finger in the top. Is that the measurement, your pointer finger? I was going to say half an inch in diameter, and then I'm like, hey, my finger will fit in there. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to say because it's solid wood, if it's really cool, it looks like it's turned. It is turned. It's hand, it hand probably turned. hand turned the way it looks because it does have yeah. a little bit of uh, chunking out at the oh, top. Oh, Alicia's on here. I feel like that just makes it more authentic and good. Did you get your stenciling done on your RV? Oh, how is that going? I've been following uh, along with that project, but so I missed the last fun. few videos. Um, so th I think probably between 15 and 20, depending on what we do to it. I think That's if we add some embellishments or transfers on it, it's probably going to be in the $20 range. If I was just going to paint it, then I'd say 15. All right. So we'll go with that. Renee's here. That's my sister. What am I? Jay, Heidi was in my back porch creeping because she wants to know what I'm going to do with the cute benches in the back. Probably going to stain them and paint them. We'll show you the benches here in a little bit. We uh, actually just brought the them security. One so we were actually watching because we got an alert. I was trying to talk through the Heidi camera. Heidi was in the backyard and the camera whistles at you if the alarm is set and you stay for too long. It's like a loitering alert alert. And it whistled at her and scared us. So we're was, sorry the alarm scared you, Heidi. It was funny to watch you jump, but the funny thing is that she jumped right as I thought I was talking through the camera. Yeah. And then come to find out that that wasn't working. <laughs> she was just picking up her order. All right, this was from Marlene, right? It was in one of the boxes she brought. Yeah, that's in from, uh, it's from Marlene. I have a hard time keeping track. So if I miss you yeah. or, or, or say you brought something that you didn't, I'm sorry because it's kind of getting all stacked up on the back porch now. Hold on, what does it say on the bottom? It has stuff on, it says hand wash, do not microwave. Made in China, not old. But cool. But looking. legit cool. And this is, this is like a little red tin top. It's that, aluminum. Um, yeah. It might be. It, it looks like that aluminum. aluminum, you know, like the kind, of, ooh, super chat from Sally Bunswell. Thank you, Sally. <laughs> you thought I was whistling at her. <laughs> I would if I could, but I don't know how. So I would have paid 2 to $3 for this um and probably sell it what 15 ish 12. yeah i would say between 12 and 15. i mean it's, it's like it's like half a forearm big half a forearm length so the I, full forearm length would be like 24 24 dollars oh jen says how did the uh last week's nurses thing go so i actually um just messaged my nurse friend and she said that the treats made them cry and they wanted to hug even though they were social distancing. So thank you guys for all your donations. I actually didn't use it all. I'm going to be spending more of that money this week with a new list. I asked her, I said, all right, so what was a big hit last time and what can I buy for those nurses? So I got a new list and I'm gonna hit up Costco on Monday and take care of the nurses. Um, they're expecting the peak to hit in Utah probably next week is what she said. So wow. keep on praying for those nurses and thanks for everybody that helped. All right, little flower holder. Yeah. You could fit a couple little potted plants right down in there. How was that again? How would they fit in there? They just right down. I think I'd probably pay at least three or four dollars for that. It's super cute. It actually was originally from a florist. I think it has a sticker on the back. Uh, flower patch. Flowerpatch.com is where it came from originally. Um, and it will probably get a paint job and at least a stencil, if not a stamp, a transfer mold some stuff on there on the sides what I like would we the sell it for? detail oh yeah. like 15 dollars okay. maybe i'll let eliza have at it she did really good stenciling last week she really enjoyed she's been it. itching to get back in and paint and she was so excited um that people have been buying their stuff which reminds me redrick has something we need to get on the website this week because he he, really he made wants it a long time ago it. and we lost it in the uh what used to be the shipping office at the house and we found it because we were cleaning it out the other day he's like hey i thought this sold yeah, we got it. We're like, oh, no, it didn't. Because we were going to give him the money. He did get money, but we didn't actually sell it. All right, this is from Diane. We, we just gave him money. Um, Yeah, that's from Diane. And actually, it's not. Who, what's her husband's name? Buff? Bill? 
But you put me on the spot with names. I've been working. You remembered it five minutes ago. I've been working so hard today. Mr. Johnson, because her last name is Johnson. <laughs> he dropped that off and told us that he knew it wasn't our style, but thought we could make it cool. So I would pay probably six bucks for this and sell it probably anywhere from 20 to 30. And I'm like, challenge accepted because it's big and awesome, a big flat surface to decorate. And it's it doesn't have a super huge mouth up here at the top. So you could put some flowers in here and not have to have them go full length if you bunched them up right. You don't have to have like a super long What's the price thing up in the corner of the screen? Oh, it's super chat. That's Somebody, a super chat. It's a tip. South Sally, every week. That's That wings for you, Sally. All right, um, Tiffany said her daughter's a nurse in Knoxville and her hospital just informed the nurses they would have to supply their own cloth masks on their next shift. My sister is an RN in Arizona and she was able to procure a respirator from my niece's brother-in-law because they don't have PPE and she's had to work in the COVID unit. So she's got a, a respirator that's used for like restoration, like when you have floods and stuff. Oh. Yeah. So I was glad she actually called me and wanted a, a respirator and ours are filthy and we don't have new mine, filters because we haven't been able to find them. And I'm like, oh, I wish I had used one. Hard. Let me show you one of mine here. Tell them about these flowers. You're going to show them our respirator, how bad it is. All right. So these flowers came from, I believe, Diane. I don't remember which box it came out of. And this awesome vase came. This will be really cool with one of Zeb's turned tops. Oh, super chat. Nine 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 for the nurses. Those nurses is going to be all Thank kinds you, of happy. All right, so, all right, moving this back. All right, so this is an enclosed filter, but this is an N95, and these are the respirators I use. I use one all day long, and this thing here is getting, re it's replaceable, just this whole unit here. It's getting really hard to pull air through, so, like, if you got to do anything strenuous, you got to take some breathers well, right we, now. We have to take the, what are they, the filters, and we ho we air hose them out. Yeah, I hose them out. It's, you know, as long as you can pull air through them, they're still functioning, but, man, they're getting hard to breathe through. Yeah, they're not <laughs> something you'd want to be wearing as a nurse, for sure. Cynthia said, I look good. It must really be working. So the, the truth behind this situation is I work a lot and I'm doing intermittent fasting, but not voluntarily. I just usually eat a little bit and then work all day and then don't eat till dinner. But, you know, still consuming at least 2,000 calories. All right, moving on. What do so you think? We got a fun little basket with six little milk jars in them. The same this dairy. came from Diane. It's really, no, did it come from Diane? No, it came from Marlene. Marlene, Marlene. I believe. It was in this box here. And I would say it's probably 20 bucks easy. So cute. And doesn't need anything but a wash job. And it's ready to go on the website. Lisa sewed her first mask today. That's awesome. Nice. Mariah, um, I don't know. Some of you guys might know Mariah. She's my retail director and handles great Mariah has been sewing some super She's cool been masks. sewing a lot of masks lately too. We met, I told her if she could get all the ones that she's giving away done and has time for more, that we'll put them up on the website. All right, so pink frame. This is cool. It's magnetic. It's got a little magnet on it. Okay, so oh, oh, it was Diane. a googly eye and now it dropped it. I probably pay a couple bucks and I think it's probably a good like $12 item. It's bright pink so I might paint it different. I don't know. It's really cute. There's a little design on it. It's like fabric on the back. Jen, Jen says she wants me and Marlene. I have good friends. I have good friends. Oh, got, Goodson said she had eight masks and she mailed them to her nurse friends. I nice. love it. All right, just making sure I'm not missing anything. Fun little yellow vase. Um, this is ceramic. I probably would have been a dollar fifty, maybe up to two bucks, because it's got some pretty good detail on it. It's cute. I think I'd probably sell it for eight ninety five painted, and that's definitely something Eliza would enjoy painting. White wax on the frame, probably not over that shiny pink paint. We'll have to repaint it because it looks like it was done with like spray paint or high gloss. Yeah. Pink is the theme today. Yep. Also from Diane, that's plaster and it has a friend. The friend's way over there. I can't reach it. Oh, there's two. Yeah, it has a friend. And these, probably $30 for the pair. And definitely a new paint job. Pink's not bad, but we're going to give it's it a little like It's a little update. bright, like more muted pastel pinks are what's going right now. Maybe if you had some pastel and this was an accent color on it. 
What would we pay for these? I'd probably do like two to three dollars a piece. What would I pay for them? Yeah, and I said like thirty dollars for the pair, usually about fifteen each. Yeah. But when I have a pair, I usually like to sell them for the pair. All right. Uh, oh, Caitlin just dropped it. If you want anything, and it, it's not going to be up on the website yet, you can email Lehigh Shop at jamierayvintage.com. But probably by the end of the week, we'll get a lot more items listed before our next Stay at Home Shopping Network. Because <laughs> everybody loved it. So it was like, really popular, so we'll probably sweet. do it again. Live videos are great because then we can work on the farmhouse. All right, so here's just a single um, situation shelf. <laughs> it's, it's like a corbel shelf. Um, so I would say probably, again, like $14.95 because it's just one. It's cute. And it's not a bad finish on it. It's just a little speckled. It has speckled. hardware on the back already. That's always a bonus. So this came, and I have no idea where it came from. It's a I'm little, thinking little maybe close. Marlene, but I wouldn't swear to it. But it's got some scratches it's on the back. Frosted. We might paint it. So I don't know. It might get painted. Would that be weird to paint that? I don't know. We'll have to look and see. Maybe we paint it and leave this like not clear. We'll see. We don't know what we're gonna do with it, but we're gonna figure it out. Maybe we'll just spray some frost stuff on it and fix it. Okay. All right. Let's see. Look it. Marlene's helping me with my clock addiction. Yeah, we forgot that this was hidden. I probably the table. would have paid about ten to twelve dollars for this because it is wood. Yeah, it's a nice one. It's from I don't know. Um, the brand on it. I don't know if it has one. But we'll make sure it works, and then we'll probably put it up on the website for about forty or fifty. Depends on what we do to it. It's got a lot of French writing on the back here, so you know maybe that's a dedication. <laughs> Rachel wants to talk about the big column in the room. <laughs> I, I don't know. We'll get after, to it. After shipping all week, I'm not sure that I want to put that on the website. <laughs> oh, Stacy upgraded to uh, creative business skills. Stacy, all right. A fun so, group. since you're now a member of Creative Business, Stacy, make sure you email creativebusiness at jamierayvintage.com. And then when you get to that Facebook group, if you go up to files, Mariah has all the live videos organized by month. So you can watch all the videos and catch up in all your spare time. So we're going to give this a good makeover here and we will probably sell it in the 35 range. I just said 40 to 50. Oh, well, that's why you do the guessing and I don't. Because I know how cool it's going to be. <laughs> well, it depends Maybe on what we have to Maybe you should start pricing things. Everybody will like you better. Everybody's like, oh, man, we got to go to the And I did not let him buy another clock, although I don't really let him do anything. Zeb is his own man. I, you know, Just, she she makes strong suggestions, and I do what I want all the strong, time. Strong? Strong <laughs> suggestions? I don't, I don't know where you would get that idea. That's, that's the nicest way I could term your strong suggestions. <laughs> <laughs> when she doesn't want something, she's like, don't get that, I can't sell it. I, well, sometimes I say, I don't want to put that in my shop. But now I can be like, we can put it in Zeb's corner. You have your own section. And it's very empty and lonely because everybody loves Zeb's stuff. All right, so let's talk about the giant column. Okay. It would probably pay $10. Hey, it originally came from Ross for $34.99. But I'm not going to lie, I will probably salt wash this and make it look way more awesome than Ross ever imagined. And we'll probably sell it for 50 Do you love it? I, I got, got it, it, Ross. I got it, Ross. Oh, uh, you're much better at singing than me. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so probably in the fifty dollar range. This is gonna be a beast to ship. I get. I have been shipping for the website for like uh, I don't know uh, a month, a week, a month. It feels like a month. It hasn't even been shipping up a month. home decor of all awkward sizes is not always awesome like so. if you were to ship this imagine jamie back there in the office in the kitchen office trying to make a box for this and not oh, winning challenge accepted <laughs> i will win if you order from our website you're welcome for the box of origami i'm good at it we always take every single box all the packing everything we get and we save it and so if i gotta like i have a tool i can make my own corners i cut stuff up i tape it i use a lot of tape I feel like what I make up in recycling, I use in tape. So maybe I'm not saving the earth, but I'm doing my best. So that's ceramic. Yeah. And, and it's pretty. It's gold. It's, it's been... Jen wants a box making demo. Done. We'll do that. Next week, we weren't supposed to have a video because it's spring break for business coaching, but maybe I'll do a box origami lesson. It could be fun. All right. I feel like we could do a couple quick little videos. The kids have been home anyway. It's been like spring break for a month now. Kate says, no, it isn't always awesome. 
What's not awesome? My box origami? I don't know. I don't know. All right, um, let's see. Jamie's super talent is making boxes out of any cardboard. We definitely renew, reuse, recycle. Yeah, when I come up with an awesome way to ship stuff, I send an image to all the girls that ship. I'm like, look what I came up with. I'd have right, been so $1.50 $1. on this to buy it. I'll, and I, I digress. $12.95 once it's painted. Did I have a chance to practice with a big, pretty peach? Wasn't that like yesterday that I told you I was going to do that? Practice with what? Oh, I told you I was going to mix Big Top and paint and try to stencil with it and see what happens. Maybe this next week. Today, I literally shipped all day. Zeb was painting the farmhouse ceiling. I was shipping and watching. Our church has a conference this weekend that's on YouTube, and I was watching conference all day. Look at this mirror Diane brought. Isn't it cool? Yeah, I'm super excited. I'm trying excited. not to blind you guys with the lights. So I would pay at least $10 for this mirror, and we will sell it for 15 Oh, I did it. I blinded you. Sorry. Um, Stacy, uh, Caitlin, would you drop the email for business coaching for Stacy? I tell right. you, but it's better if she writes it. Did you say you would have paid 15 for this? I would have paid 10 and I'll sell it for 50 50 10 Okay, got it. The back is falling off, so we got to do a few repairs. Oh, Pretty Peach Cosmetic was watching conference, too. I'm going to have to rewatch it because I watched it while I was shipping, and the tape gun is a little bit loud, but I did my best. <laughs> um, will we have a video on the farmhouse ceiling set? Did you film anything? I, I filmed some snippets, but really I was just trying to knock it out today. So, mm, like, maybe we'll have I'll a video show on it. Monday with the second coat. I'll show it. It's not that interesting, but I'll show it like in maybe? the next video. And the next, and the next time we do a farmhouse video, we'll include the ceiling, but there'll be something else because we just sprayed it. Um, Stacy said that she's so visual, she needs to see the ceiling. We also have to con finish clipping off the nails. Where my son's about two thirds of the way done. This is like a magic treasure chest because what's inside feels like treasure to me. What's the name of my church? It's a long name. It's the Church of Jesus Christ. The Church of Jesus Christ. Well, the whole name is the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, but we just go by the Church of Jesus Christ because it's, it's that's also enough. that. It's also that, yeah. All right. Uh, how did the lights look with the paint? Joe, we just have the primer on, so. I haven't put the lights on I'm yet. going to say awesome, but I also don't know. Do you see this treasure? This is treasure. A toolbox with a oh. tote in the top. And dividers, wait, wait for it. Look at these dividers. This is made out of three quarter inch plywood. It's super sturdy. Oh gosh. It's a little dirty, but it's sturdy. There's a little dirt on your feet. Don't show them that. That's okay. I'll give it a good scrub. When we get it ready for the website, there'll be no dirt. But we this promise. thing's cool. It's got handles on the side, a big latch, you can lock it. I was excited. I thought it was just a box and then I opened it up. It's got all those dividers for tools and a tote in the top. Whew. Yeah, I and think... plus bonus, someone's milk painted it, but it looks like under the milk paint is flames. <laughs> I don't think that's... Can Marlene? you guys see? That came from Marlene. She probably painted it. But it was... there's like there's like a silhouette of flames underneath here. I don't think the camera's picking it up. It probably up. used to belong... It was a shop project. There was some teenage boy who made it and painted flames, and Marlene got it, and she put some, looks like, pantry door on it. Had I found this at the thrift store, it probably would have been 10 to 15 bucks just because of the size. Also, 50 to 60. Easy. Yeah, it's, it's really well made for a shop project, and it's very, uh, it's got a lot of utility. They said that Zeb's not keeping it. Zeb can't keep all the things. I have toolboxes. But sometimes I see other people's toolboxes. <laughs> Marlene is on. She said there were flames. Marlene, Marlene, is it painted with pantry door? Because that's my guess. I love Marlene. <laughs> You're the best. Um, I think it needs a big stencil on top. Not too shabby. Patty said it'd be great for your craft room. Well, then you better tune into the next day at Home Shopping Network because we will get it done. I'm thinking I'm going to put a big old stencil, like a grain sack stencil on the top. We have another box offering. I'm bringing it Where is Marlene here. getting all these goodies? Yo, Marlene lives where we live, just up north. So we have the same place. It's called the DI. So they, she's not been getting them recently. Marlene is a collector like me. So <laughs> this she, box. She was spring cleaning. This box is also cool with a latch, but doesn't have the tool, toolbox tote divider, but still I like it a lot. So it says pot latch on the side. Do you think that's oh. a brand? Yeah, this one is not handmade. This one is factory made. So the brand says Potlatch. I've never heard of that before. It might have been what was inside. Yeah, I don't know. 
we'll have to Google it and find out. But this is probably in like the 30 to 40, 40, 30 to 40 dollar range. And I think it needs a big handle on the top. And I'm pretty sure we have in our collection like an old vintage one. Oh yeah, like off of one of those old doors mm -hmm. I pulled off. Yeah, we have some. So right. that, that'll look good with a big handle. Cause you have, if you have a box like that, you gotta put a handle so you can take stuff. Yeah. But the, the wooden boxes, I'm loving them. All right, let's see. Um, hi, Zeb and Jamie, my first time catching us live. She Ooh. loves our channel, thank you. We're live a lot, so catch us every Saturday night. Well, some people it's like the most. Oh, the Joe, night yes, Joe, DI is closed. When I told you that Marlene was a collector, I, she's like me, she has some stuff. So she spring cleaned with us. You guys are gonna have to see the mannequin sideways because it's so tall it doesn't fit on yeah. the screen. So this the came table. from Missy. That came from Missy. I need to stop winking. I don't know what it is today. I just wanna, cause I can't hug anybody. So I just wink at people. She's winking, she's, a, she's like, hey, hello. I'm a hugger. And so with social distancing, instead of hugging, I've been winking a lot. It's gonna be a bad habit. Uh, one time I asked God for a sign and my phone rang and the car ID said, Jesus, I almost passed out and answered hello and it was the Church of Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, it's a sign. <laughs> That's funny. Teaspoon says, Lolly, did you miss me, girl? Deborah says, hey, sis. That's my older and wiser sister. There we go. I got most of it in, in shot. Okay, so potlatch. Ceremonial distribution of property and gifts to affirm or reaffirm social status as uniquely institutionalized by the American Indians of the Northwest Pacific Coast. Debbie said that. That's awesome. Someone went to the Google, or they knew. If you knew Deborah that. Deborah said I can leave older off. I said you were also more wise. We got time. Joe says that was a sign for sure. Um, Jen says, is anyone else struggling because you can't shop or donate your junk? Time to clean, Anna. Jamie to give it. I, Jamie, to give it to for me. I don't know what I don't know what Jen said. I think she must be voice texting. I have voice text fails a lot. All right, tell them about this bench because we got two of them. So these came from Jill. And I got two benches. And she also left some shelves and a box of barn wood. But we didn't bring those in yet. Sharia said my lashes are sold out on Amazon. It's because they're good. Unfortunately, they're not my brand. I'd be raking it in. All right, look, the table is cleared off. We're going to get some projects going now. All right, let's see. Did you happen to say how much that toolbox was going to cost? Um, so the other one, what did I say? 50 to 60 and then 30 to 40 for the smaller one. Yeah, it really just depends on what kind of finish we end up putting on it and what we got to do to get it there. All right, Potlatch Corporation is a mid-sized manufacturer of wood products, printing paper, and other pulp and paper-based products. Has its roots in the mountainous evergreen forest of northern Idaho. That actually makes a lot of sense because we live close to that Idaho. I think that that's probably where that came from. Here, are you challenge of the night. Deborah, what color? You are a senior citizen. Don't you get what color? Do don't you, you get the senior citizen discount? Um, I don't know. I'll I'll paint whatever you want me to paint. What? You know, people really liked the aviary white swan mix the other day okay um do that bring me some big top and let's put a transfer on it they also made paper bags no more and somebody else told me there's no more of my lashes on amazon the good news is i finally bought mascara so i don't wear my lashes every day yesterday i didn't um let's see i painted a book paste white i want to stencil but have no blue tape just use your hand I don't use blue tape ever, but then again, I'm also not perfect. Oh, you need a brush. Yes, I do need a brush. Can't wait to see what I do with it. Well, I can't wait to see what I do with it either because I'm really not sure at this point. Okay, here's a brush. Um, somebody wanted us to paint something. Um, you know what, Zeb? Would you put that uh, vinyl on that other box? Yeah. That would be awesome. And then we'll paint it. And this is white swan and aviary, are you sure? Why? Well, that might be straight up aviary. Like, it looks, looks like a new box. This looks straight new, up aviary. A new can. It's still going to be good. It's, it's, it's still going to be good. I'll have Am to I also picking the transfer you want to use? Um, oh. What should we do on it? I was going to say something floral because it's green, but, you know, what else? I was going to say we've got What some, do we have that's open? We've got some of these uh, label ephemera ones left. I think that could be you, really You want to cool do that on here? here? Okay. I think it would, you know, I'm, the farmhouse has got this industrial vibe thing going on right now, and I'm feeling it. You're feeling it? Well, the industrial vibe at the farmhouse is for you. I like it too, but 
I'm also doing it because you you let me have my way a lot when it comes to decorating. So I'm trying to let's be honest, I don't really care that much. You I just care. You know, as long as I have a comfy bed and the shower works real good. And I make you dinner. Well, Today I made you meatballs, mashed potatoes, gravy, and yeah, corn. Was, it was delicious. Corn isn't actually really a vegetable, but, you know, it made me feel like it was healthy. So you can pick this up at jamierayvintage.com. We sell these IOD transfers among many, many others. And this is one of my favorite ones. I love labeling and old branding and signage, and it is full of that. It is full of it. This is this is leftovers. We've been into this one a lot, so I'd be interested to see what's left in here. Pretty Peach Cosmetics. All right. The world wants to know. Everybody is very concerned that we live in Utah and there's not going to be any insulation. Who would do that? So what we're doing is we are insulating over the top of the outside of the roof because for design aesthetics, namely, I wanted to open up the whole dang ceiling, we have to insulate on the outside and then we're going to put a new standing seam roof. Roof? I will give a visual aid. Roof. Is that how you say it? Roof. 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 I have a hard time saying it. Utahns call it roof. Anyways, we're putting no. a standing seam roof. Your dad calls it roof. Every, everybody needs to know that. Anyways, we're putting a standing seam roof on the top. So that's how it's going to be insulated. Okay. Pretend that this is the top of the current roof. And underneath. You said it right. In here. I always say it right. No, it's because you're perfect. I'm not perfect. I just am kind of. OCD about enunciating things this is most true. of the time most of the time sometimes I'll uh, I'll let a little accent I like when you there. say gotten just I like only me. did it once the other day I've been talking to Redrick and he said it like eight times to me and then I was using it I'm like oh no it's what's happening we spent a lot of time together. <laughs> all right so this is the underside of the roof not insulated right this is the outside of the roof where the shingles currently are I'm gonna take the shingles off I'm gonna put two by eights up on the top of those shingles, or up on the top of that roof, and then we're gonna fill it with spray foam in between, just like new rafters up there. And then I'm gonna put some OSB on the top of that, and then we're gonna have standing seam roofing on the top of that. So there will be lots and lots and lots of insulation on that roof. It's gonna be a ventless system because there's no airflow, so it does not require venting. There you have it. That was a lot of explaining. Now tell your friends, because everybody needs to know. I think every time we show it, I'm gonna have to put a disclaimer. There will be insulation. I can't find those little finial knobs. Where are we oh, going? they're on that table. Oh, Do I see any bag of mannequin? I found one. Thank you. I'm gonna put a second coat on this and then I'll seal it. I'm only using a heat gun so it dries faster. And we get a lot of questions about should I use a heat gun? No, you should paint another project while this project dries. I'm going to go back to the comments in a minute. Alright, so this was from last week's haul, also brought to us by... That was Sue. Sue. All right, so I'm just going corner to corner. Gonna find the center here real fast. We should, have a, we should have a junk exchange. Like if you drop it off, then we will have a box you can pick from. <laughs> it's only fair that I also clean out my garage. We're moving soon, right? Right. I realize we've been working on this farmhouse nine months. It's like being pregnant, and we are now overdue. Things keep coming and, and happening. Well, that's true. All right, so this poked through because that's not very thick wood. So what I will do is I will run a little, I'll probably flatten it out with some sort of grinder. Or the you know what I would do something. is I would just put a whole bunch of hot glue on the bottom of it, and then nobody would get poked. Or we might do that because that's really easy. That's just like that. When I look at that, I say hot glue. But we'll do it later because I'm going to paint it now. I got to go find a color real quick. Okay. I'm Are you to... already second coating that? I am already second coating that. Like a paint ninja. Um, I am a cardboard ninja, a paint ninja. I am a woman of many talents here. All right. I'm going to dry this side. I will second coat the back eventually. 
They said, this is a beautiful green. Yes, this is aviary and DIY paint. It's actually the color that I got to pick. I feel like it's the perfect mossy farmhouse green. After I do this, I'm gonna put a coat of sealer, dry that, and then I'll put the transfer. You don't always have to put a coat of sealer, but you need to let it dry 24 hours or longer before you put a transfer. I don't like to wait, so I just seal it and then transfer it. What do you think about gravel road since that wood is light doing a darker color on there? That's fine. Okay. Whatever you want to do. Oh, wait, now that I one. have a Zeb's corner, you can do what you want. <laughs> Careful when you're using a heat gun if you don't want crackle because it does do the crackle situation. You know, and instead of a transfer, I should have, I should do the big top thing that Peach wants me to do with a stencil. But I don't know if I want to do that on live camera. I want to test it off camera. Because I've never done it before. You know when it's dry because it's no longer dark. It dries light and then you seal it and then it gets dark again. Have we even mentioned that milk paint's on sale right now? Uh, nope. Tell them about it. Oh, well, since you asked, Zeb, milk paint is 20% off at jamierayvintage.com. It's on sale until April 8th at 10 p.m. Mountain Time. Why 10 p.m.? Because Kayla wants to go to bed. She has to put the order in before my wholesaler's sale is up at midnight. So, there you go. Anyways, yeah, it's Milk Paint Farmhouse Finishes and Extra Bond. It's on sale until the 8th at 10 p.m. Mountain Time. 2020. 2020. And it only goes on sale once, maybe twice a year. I think last year did it go on twice a month. It just went, and when Sasha, who owns Sweet Pickens, decides she wants to do it, she's like, hey, Milk Paint yeah. sale, and we, we start selling it. We know when you know. Yeah. All right, let me... We found out on April Fool's, and Jamie was like, this is not a drill. This is not an April Fool's joke. It's not a drill. Milk Paint is on sale. Milk paint is actually on sale. <laughs> I actually did use the words, this is not a drill, when I texted Caitlin. She loves it when I text her at 7 o'clock in the morning. This is not a drill. I need your muscles. Mm, my muscles are tired today. Oh, Caitlin dropped the link. We actually have a whole collection that Caitlin does, and we have a sale, so it's all in one place. All right. So this is Gravel Road. It's like a really nice light gray. And I really like it. I'm using it on this lighter wood because even though it's a light gray, it'll have a nice contrast when we go to distress it. I'm pushing Which, really lightly because this was shiny. I don't want to pull the paint off. Yeah, you don't want to pull that paint. That's, and it's and so it's fresh. Totally fresh. It's even so if it's dry, fresh. it's fresh. You see how this gets... But on this channel, you know we're going to distress this box. Because we're, we're, we're fresh. I used to, you know, I used to do almost close to factory finish when we did custom work on so many orders. People would be like, hey, paint this white, and I don't want any distressing. So now we're to the point where we're like, okay, we do all our own projects, and we distress everything, and we, we, don't, uh, yeah. we don't do perfection. We, we don't spray very much at all anymore. <laughs> well, we spray a lot in the summertime because we'll take that sprayer out on the back porch That's true. and go to town and do like a million projects. But the thought of having to like drag stuff into the basement and out of the basement. We only do it when it's really necessary. Like it's really detailed and we don't want to get all crazy with our brush. I'm putting the second coat on, then I'll dry that big top so I can transfer it. We do paint the bottoms of things when we're no longer live. In case you saw me do that, um, oh, was it the tray last week? I'll show them the tray. Les yeah. was very concerned that we didn't paint it. And we did. We just weren't live on TV when we did it. This is already sold. It needs shipped out, which is why the bottom finally got painted. Ta-da! If you were the one that bought that, it's shipping out Monday. Yeah, we had 50 orders on the Home Shopping Network, and we already had a ton of orders to get out. So stay I at been, Home Shopping Network. Sorry, the Stay at Home Shopping Network that we did on our channel. So that was awesome, and I'm already to Thursday, which I'm pretty proud of myself. All right. Let me, in case you guys are just tuning in, we have taken junk that normally we thrift, but we got given to us by friends because the situation that need not be mentioned is closed our thrift stores. Um, and when we're done with our projects, we list them on our website or sell them in our shop 
at jamierayvintagehome.com. All right, I haven't answered questions in a while. Can't wait to get my ducks ampered, they're coming. Like I made it to Thursday, so I'm getting there. Um, has anyone done a restoration hardware type finish? We have videos on that. Kaylin is eating her Easter chocolate. It's too early. It's um, not time, Kaylin. Jasmine said it's impossible for me not to distress. What? And then they said, what farm fresh color is close to apothecary? So you mean farmhouse finishes? I would say um, like summer cottage is really close, but it's more blue. So if you added a little green, you could get really close to that. Renee, chocolate is overrated. We don't even, I'm pretty, Renee's the only one with blonde hair and blue eyes. She could have been adopted. She doesn't like chocolate. <laughs> All right. The only one meaning the only sister. Sorry, Renee's my sister and she's commenting that she doesn't like chocolate, which I already knew. So you'll be able to see where, where it, what it looks like sealed and what it looks like wet and dry because it kind of dries somewhere between the dark and the light. So like on the side, you see the side, this is the sealer, no sealer, wet paint. Here, hold it up close for them so they can see. Sealer, no sealer, wet paint. Kind of give you an idea of what it's going to look like. And clay does have highs and lows. So you will get different variations. And sometimes it has to, oops, too hot. Sometimes you'll get variations in tones and that's what makes the clay paint awesome. I'm looking for a stencil. I feel like we went too fancy with that knob on the top. We went too fancy, get a French stencil. Oh. Wee oui, wee. Oui. All right. I'm gonna let that cool down a little bit. Now it's got a little bit of sheen and we'll be able to put our transfers on it. With the pantry door, yeah, but that's sweet pickings. They don't, it doesn't come in farmhouse finishes. Pantry door is close to. If you mix pantry door and Sweetie Jane and sweet pickings milk paint, you'll get very close to apothecary. My big green cabinet and my house is painted with pantry door and Sweetie Jane, a 60-60. Um, 60-60? Oh. I need to rest. 50 50. Oops. Rest comes tomorrow. 50 50 mix. I can't get this transfer open. Oh, I closed it good. Sorry. Looks like olive green. Um, Yeah, I guess kind of, but not. Depends on what you put with it. Because it, it's like sagey green. All right. I'm going through the new stencils right now. Oh, I don't think I've even seen this one. Um, Margie said one? conference made her tired today. Is this an, is this an There's even a approved stencil? I've not even seen this one. I've, I've used the mini stencils. Up. This is not going to work. This was not a complete. Is that because, all that's left? Yeah, that's all that's left. I'll go get you some oh, flowers. I'm, oops. Put them Preston back in bed. Is laughing at my 60-60. <laughs> That's 120%. You know, regular people have 100%, but I'm so extra, I do 120. <laughs> <laughs> it sort of looks like a watermelon rind right now. I'm seeing it. That's a good look. Katie, now I can't unsee that. Thanks. That's a good look. I like that. Um, all right. All right. I'm gonna... Renee said she watched all six hours. I did too. I was working, but I watched it. All right. Um... See, tube of you is mean. I don't know what's going on. I'm glad Jamie is forced to take off. There is wisdom in a Sabbath. Yes, thank goodness. Oh, man. I always tell Debbie Beard, I get more done on six days as long as I take off on the seventh. What? Um, did we have some floor in there? Zeb's bringing me all the leftover transfers. Let's see what we got here. I, well, what's in here? More market. We got words. No flowers. That's not going to work. That one's going away. I don't want wildflower. Um, be that would be okay. Do it in white. Um, let me let me look at After that, that, I think we're through our scraps. Like there's no. Oh, we have lemons. Um, they're not sold on your piece, Jeb. You gotta. Cindy called you Jeb, so now you gotta show her that Jeb's Jeb knows best. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be so cool with this stencil I'm about to put on it. You guys don't even know. Pick a transfer, any transfer. Uh, I found lemons. 
Delissa said that should be a neutral, right? All right, I don't know. Do you want to do lemons on your green? What? No. I don't know what I want. So the problem is you can't see it unless you take the backing off. So I just used the middle out of this one. That's not going to work either. Lemon, you know what? I'm thinking lemons because. I think the lemons will actually look really good with that green. Not too shabby, Patty said. Must be nice to have so many choices. You guys think that I sell this stuff because I want you to buy it, which is true. But I also sell it because I must have all of the things. I have every stencil, every stamp. Because I have to show you how to use them. It's a business expense. All uh, right. <laughs> uh, Kai says, I love that gray and the knob. I like it too. It does have um, some bleed through. Yeah, I'm seeing it. I think I'm going to work with it and just distress it on through. Yeah. All right. Lemons are the winner. The question is, oh, did you get any scissors or no? Oh, no, I did not. All right, I'll go get scissors while you work on that. I'm just heat gunning my piece here. Okay. I don't think I'm going to do a second coat because I've got this little bit of bleed through. I'm going to work with that and give it a good distress. So I picked a transfer that we haven't used. Jamie's used it in the mini, but we haven't used it in the full size yet. So it should be good. I'm excited about it. I didn't even know we had it in a full size sheet. That shows you what I've been paying attention what? to. That's that stencil. Well, we've had a lot of things going on. We a, a couple. We've had some situations. What I like about the lemon is that it has blossoms on it, so there's like these pretty white flowers. That bleed through is actually kind of giving it some good age. You just, you work that bleed through angle all the time. Oh, long. I'm going to. I dealt with a lot of bleed through on all that old, all the old rafters today. Two coats of uh, primer on that roof or on that ceiling and I'm still going to have to shellac it. Because you use water based. I was not going to run oil based primer through my sprayer. I did not want to spend half the day cleaning it. Stick, but I did. I got it. Did you find it? Yeah. So somebody asked about our son. He is very excited about his um, college. Yesterday was signing day. He's going to Concordia University in Nebraska, and they have offered him a very generous um, athletic and wrestling scholarship. I'm just excited because now that he's committed, he actually has to finish his classes and graduate. He, yeah, he's been focusing. Uh, a lot more on the the online schooling than he was previous. To He's this. like committed. Okay, let me show you the stencil. I don't know if we can show it good because they're clear and you know they're see through. Just show it to when you use it. They'll know. Oh yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> right. All right, we're just gonna put it on. It's not terrible. It's awesome. They just can't. It's terrible. To see. It's terrible. They can't see it. All right, Jamie, what kind of brush am I using? This is the number eight paint pixie. So I like the number 12, only a little bit smaller. Little black dress to go over this gray color, beautiful soft gray. Uh, how far is Nebraska? 13 hours. They do cover uh, most of it, but we still have to come up with about, what was it, like 15,000 a year? Yes. But that covers room and board. So the boy eats a lot and he's gonna be paying his own car insurance, so hallelujah there. But you know, if I, I might get a job while I'm sleeping. Anybody else got kids in college? He was actually really good. He's like, I'll just go to a junior college that's offered me a wrestling spot, but they weren't gonna pay him any money to go there. And I was he's like, just gonna you, can't, wrestle. you can't turn out up a university for a JC. And it was even further away, which I was like, mm, nope. Hard pass on that one. 13 hours, I can drive there in a day if Mama needs to. Right. Well, and it's a two-hour flight, and Salt Lake City, uh, Salt Lake International Airport has flights to Lincoln, which is half hour away from where he's going to be. So. Yeah. Somebody said there's four seasons in Nebraska. There cold, is cold, and colder. No, winter, spring, summer, and Husker season, which is otherwise known as fall. 
<laughs> from the Nebraska for their um, football. And they have uh, football at Concordia too. We're a big football family, so I'm sure Harrington will be watching himself football. For a moment, they entertained giving him a football scholarship as well, but then the wrestling coach was like, no, we, we don't just want, want you to wrestle. Because he loves himself some feline. All right. All right, there we go. We're getting this on there. Ta-da! I like it. Okay, so I just used the center of this stencil. You can see it now, kind of. Is that gravel road? Somebody asked, yes it is. Yes, this is and gravel this is road. Gary. Oh, I'm off. I didn't center it. How dare me. You're gonna make somebody's eye twitch. I'm gonna make my own eye twitch. I'm gonna have to paint over that later. Just to stress it, it'll be fine. All right, I gotta cut this portion off. If you like the thing about perfection is I look at a lot of old stuff, right? Nothing is ever centered, and that's what makes it awesome. So I don't know why we're so hard on ourselves. Okay, I need to figure out this situation here. I really should. I get comments all the time. Why don't you ever lay anything out before you get started? I don't know. So I'm just using bits and pieces of this, and it is working out. I didn't even look to see if that was level. We're going with the unevenness. We're making it happen. It's not my normal, but we're going to do it anyway. All right. Caitlin's answering all the questions. Thanks, because I'm focusing on my project situation. So I like to overlap mine a little bit. I, know, I was going to stencil some more sides, but weird. I think I'm just going to uh, leave it like this and distress. Well, I'm not sure yet. Can lemons be over the top of each other? No, I decided I'm going to do some a little bit more. Are you talking to yourself? Kind of. I'm trying it out. I feel like you spent too long with me. The problem that we've been having is, so Zeb and I spent a lot of time together. <laughs> it's been it's been The last day or last so, he will go to text something in the family chat, and I text something, and it's the exact same thing. Or we go to text each other, and at the same time, we text each other literally the same thing. And I'm like, I don't even know what's going on with us anymore. Things are getting weird. All right. You know, it transferring on curves is not my forte. Thank goodness for white wax and distressing. There's like curves in every direction that I'm doing this transfer on. Like sideways curves, front ways curves. All right, perfectly imperfect. Um, oh, Delisa, or is it Delisa? It's probably Delisa. She says, hair, lashes, skin, teeth, body, and five kids, and her is going to college. She looks like she's pre graduating from high school. It's the Botox, honey. Um, and it's a good thing that there's six foot distancing right now because these lashes are not as hot as one might hope. I mean, they're not bad. And also, I didn't shower today. So there's that. Does anybody ever put their makeup over the top? So we got of the, the front, we got from. grains from 1962. Kind of a little information on the side. I think I'm gonna do one more side. I have more to do over here. I'm, my transfer is a little bit wrinkly but that's so, because it's going over again so this is way too long to fit on this small box so i'm just doing a little at a time and just do i have a t-shirt that says you had me at ship lap no but only because it's been done i like to have t-shirts that nobody else has done before but zeb says we're working on t-shirts this week because yep. i've been putting it off he wanted to do it today and i was like nope i'm busy we got some we got some good stuff done though I got a lot of stuff done over at the farmhouse. You got a lot of shipping. I can't make shirts unless I ship what people have already purchased from me. It's a rule. I'm trying to figure out how to, oh, I'll just make this leaf come off of here. All right, we'll put that right there. And this lemon, it's gonna go over right top of that lemon. Somebody forgot to prune their tree, so there's lemons growing on top of each other. I should have got the smaller stencil brush. This has been tricky doing a little bit at a time with this bigger brush. I'm managing to do it, but it would have been way easier. Well, sometimes we don't think about things. Sorry, I'm like leaning over the table here. Okay. Tell 
telling you, curved items and transfers, you can do it. All right, I got a little bit over, but that'll be okay once I distress it. All right, so we got front, side, side, all from one stencil so far. I still have more words I haven't used. You are so amazing. <laughs> you designed the stencils, so there you go. Well, it's like a replica of an old green sack, so really I just copied a design of an old sign. Oh, 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 I, oh, that's the bottom of that. Okay, I thought maybe I made a mistake. Okay. All right, I'm adding more lemons here. Uh, rusty, crusty, and dusty is my jam. They're coming up with t-shirt things. I'm gonna have to read the live chat when I'm no longer concentrating on my current situation. I feel like I'm tired enough that if I don't concentrate, it could be bad. Sometimes I make faces when I'm concentrating and Zeb and I are filming and he's like, hey, you're on camera, I smile, and I do this. And he says, too much smile. Too much, too much smile. I'm like, you know, normal humans make weird faces that aren't always happy looking when they're working. So there's part of this crest, I'm going to use the little castle spires for it. The turrets, I guess, is what they would be. I don't know. Am I getting too lemony? I feel like we need a lemon, a lemon in the middle. And then I'm going to call it. I love some lemons with some brown wax. Does it make the lemons look like they've turned? Time for distressing. Okay. I also, I'm trying to keep it on just the part where I've sealed it. So I can only go so far over. All right, I've got this one on here. And I'm trying to make these lemon branches look like they're not like in the middle of nowhere. All right, this is gonna get loud, sorry. What's getting loud? Oh, that's not that loud. Who doesn't like sandpaper? Is it Tom Fisher? Or is it chalk? Um, it was paper towels or something. Paper towels. Doing, I don't remember. You were like wiping something with paper towels. Ah, uh, the you lemons are a, a good choice. You can use a lint-free rag or you can just use the back of the transfer. Just in case you're wondering. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to finish this now. I just got to seal the back. And then I'm going to white. I, they said dark wax, but I actually think white wax because I just like white wax everything. Alright, there's my lemon situation. I'm digging it. I actually think this would be great with like a word over the top of it. Yeah, maybe. What do we got? Where's my scissors? My ear. Right here. Just so you know, it's the outside of my ear. I gotta just clean that. I don't think anybody's. And I'm not being germ, germ free here. Does anybody else have their face itch way more now than they've ever had in their whole life? Now that we're not supposed to be touching our face. Yeah, I like that. Now that does need to be centered. Does that tell me when it's centered? I would lay it down flat. Well, Let the back dry enough. No, not really. But I'll fix it later. Now I can't see. I'm not tall enough. Alright. Where's a measuring tape? Alright, I'm using part of the classic pots. Alright, I don't know, there's a lot of comments rolling super fast. Alright, so this is dry. I'm going to just wipe the, the dust off. Overkill. Terry, you spoke too late. I overkilled it. Done now. Oh, not my best option. So you see how cloudy that is? It's got like a bunch of... Dirt. This is a dry cloth, not wet. Oh, I like that. I like your project better than my project. 
same with this one. So if you get some of that when you're distressing a stencil or whatever and you don't want it, if you don't, we usually will blow, take it downstairs and blow it off with the air compressor, but if you don't have an air compressor, a dry cloth will work pretty well to get most of that dust transfer off. And I feel like the bleed through now works with the rest of the piece. You're making it work for you instead of against you. Now that yeah. is bleed through magic. Okay, now I am going to go get this just a little bit wet and wet distress this and then I'm going to wax it and then I think we'll be done. We've been on for 60 minutes. Well, oh, I gotta hurry. I gotta, I gotta see what this looks like because they said it was, somebody said it was overkill. I can't remember who it was now. I think it's going to be cool. It needed something to break that up. I could have It did look good with just the lemons. Yeah, well, you know, more is more. So now I just have wet cloth. I'm just distressing the top of this little finial knob thing here. You know, if I had four hands, I could be really good at this right now. It has a lot of detail and I'm struggling to get it. All right. How are you guys liking it? I feel I like that stencil a lot. I'm probably going to use that on all sorts of things because it has so many cool elements. So that is the grains lead but still or something. It's with our grain sacks and it's part of the mini set too. So if you want the mini one, it's bastide. Bas what? Bastide. I don't know. I don't speak French, obviously. I'm not even sure I speak English most days. There, you can see it better now. This has a lot of detail on it. You want to hold this while I finish rubbing the transfer oh, I was on? Wax. All right, you wax. I'll just be over here. 20 years later. I think you could show them though. Oh, is it not coming up? Well, it has a lot of detail and I'm having to use one hand to hold it and I can't push against it because it's wet on the other side. I'm having a lot of situations over here. Yeah, I'll come help you. It's okay. I think I can get it. I'm halfway there. I'm halfway there. I don't know if that's a song. Uh, Bastide. Bastide. There you go. There you go. All right, so I'm using the, the I'm using the little C to uh, put this wax on because we do not have a clean wax brush. Everything has white all over it. Well, aren't you gonna white wax that? No, nope, I'm clear waxing this. Hmm. Well, the little C can be used as a wax brush, and all yep. the dental brushes can be used as a wax brush too. Yeah, they got those nice stiff bristles. All right. So you can see how it deepens that color up. This will dry somewhere in between these two colors. Almost there. You just gotta keep working with it, don't give up. Now that I'm waxing, it's really bringing that wood tone back since I only did one coat on it. Only one coat of so gravel road. Oops. Hold on. You gotta do a repair. Was so Emergency good. repair. All right, I'll just stick it back on there. I thought that I was good to just rip it off, but apparently it was gonna be a booger. There. Okay. All right, I like it. I'm gonna white wax it. And then I'll finish the rest later. Did you ever get a good picture of the Waste Not Wednesday table that we did? Um, yes, or, or but did it someone was just purchased. So, so, yeah, someone already bought it. We got to ship that out. It was purchased, so I can't, I never posted it. I was going to say, you should post that so everybody could see what it looks like done. We'll do that sometime this week. If you haven't watched Wednesday's video, go watch it. It was a fun little uh, entry or a sofa table. Your project is better than my project, but I did suggest the topper and the stencil. So maybe it's just the... I feel like I'm going to put Harrington to work making square boxes. Yeah, so we can put detail on it. He's been, he's been trying to earn some college money, we'll say that. He's been trying to earn money to buy a new car because we told him he couldn't take his car home. Yeah, we told him he can't take the car we got him because Odilia, that's the family car, Odilia will be driving this fall. So he's trying to earn money so that he can get himself a good, reliable car to take to college. Well, yes, and we would love that. And the reason why we have, the, actually, the only reason he got another car after the other car was told is because Odelia is getting her permit in August and she's not driving my new cars. It's not happening. Don't worry, it's going to be okay. In case somebody's on the other side going, Jamie, what are you doing? It's already been sealed. So the white, 
Oh, wow. Not. Um, all right, well, we exceeded our time, so you... Well, I'm not done yet. Your project is running long. My project is just fine. All right, guys. What do you think? Oh, the wax, it'll dry back out. It'll get light gray again. Don't you worry. I need worry. some white wax. No, I'm not going to white wax it. All right, fine. I might if I don't like fine. the way it looks once it's dried. But yeah, this is just wet wax, so once this dries back out, it will be a light gray again. Oh, see that? Totally needed that. It got down on all the nooks and crannies, and the texture from the paint job that I did. That's why I like clay paint, because you can build texture with it. All right, I'll show you guys up front. Up front, up close. I can show them. That's okay. Oh, you're going to go around? All right. Alright, I still gotta work it a little bit more, but here's my project. It's getting there. The artichoke is asking for wax. The artichoke is for some white wax. We, we, once it dries, if I don't like the way it looks, we may do some white wax. But for now, I think it's, it's good. I'm knocking stuff off. It's time to go. Well, that's not dry. Alright, well, I'm gonna get these, this one finished. On Monday, I will post in community these two pictures. Make her, make her. Hold on. Make sure you guys are hitting up jamierayvintage.com for the paint and products we use today. And if you want to buy our one-of-a-kind items and the home decor that I love, visit Jamie Ray Vintage Home for all the home decor that you need. Is there anything else we're going to say? You got to oh. tell them to subscribe for oh. more. <laughs> be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. And don't forget the milk paint sale. Catch you guys later. And don't lick anybody.